Right, today I want to cover off phone numbers, but specifically want to talk about the regulatory and bundle addresses. So, um, this is relatively new, probably in the last three months, and before you used to be able to just go on uh, onto this system, so you'd go into your settings, uh, so I'll just show you that. Um, obviously you've got your, your main menu there, you go into your settings, and then what we do is we'd come down to phone numbers. Now this is just a, a blank sub account, um, and you can see here your phone numbers, and then what it actually lets you do is go looking for a phone number and you think everything's going to be fine. But what we've got to do is actually have a regulatory bundle address. So this can be as an individual sole trader or as a limited company. Um, and it's different for all countries, obviously, but what we're concentrating on here is the UK. So it can be a little bit confusing, really frustrating, but essentially it is pretty easy to do once you get your head around it now the the most important thing so what is a, a regulatory bundle it's basically just kind of proof of address proof of id uh to make sure that it's going to legitimate people so um there's different um different countries have different rules but if we look at the uk now the important part here is to actually create first of all there's two parts to it now it defaults to the regulatory bundle but what you need to do is actually is actually click the address bundle. And the reason why we're setting up a telephone number is obviously if we have a missed call, we can do a missed call text back. If we uh, have a lead come in, we can actually send them a text message. We can give them updates by, via text as well. And it's a really powerful tool. Um, and if you've got a business owner or you're a business owner who has a mobile number and the one that works one, this is really good because you can put this on all your information. And if somebody rings or texts, it's actually going to create a contact in the CRM part of the system. So the address bundle is the first thing that you need to do. So we click that and then we click next. So what we do is we fill this in. It can obviously be first name so for my example Chris Blythe custom name Chris Blythe but if I've got a business I might want to put the business name in there but essentially it doesn't doesn't really matter as long as it's either the business name or your name um, then you've got to put the address in so this has got to match the exact documents that you've got to upload you've got to upload an address an emergency address but they can be both the same address and both the same documents I've uploaded anything from something really official like a bank statement to a promotional letter that had my name and address in. So I don't think it's policed um, massively. Um, I have never had a, a one rejected due to the documents that I uploaded. Um, again, you know, normally when you've got to prove your ID, it has to be a proof of address, it has to be a utility bill, it has to be something like that. But not in the case of this. So you've, you've got to make sure that the address matches up. Um, what country you're in, obviously the UK, uh, what region you're in, so that might be Tyne and Weir or Durham or Yorkshire, whatever, the city that you're in and the postcode, and then you submit that and it'll be validated straight away. So I'm going to show that now after it's validated. So it says here, address submitted successfully, um, and then it says it's under review, but when we click this, so it'll show that it's been validated straight away. You can see that there. So, uh, what we're now going to do is we're going to create that regulatory bundle. So this is where you would select and you would come down to the UK. And let's say we're going to do a sole trader. And we're going to look at a mobile number in here, what we're going to be using. Uh, if you're going to be using text messages, then you have to go with a mobile number. Then what we've got to do is, this is the important part, first name of the individual, last name of the individual, email address, now this is where you'll probably feel um, if you enter in 079 and that's the number that you put in um, it'll let you continue the comments obviously date of birth the comments part is where you would put uh, setting up a, a sub account for um, an estate agent or a car wash or whatever it may be set up a telephone number now if you click submit what you'll find is it'll probably feel and you click next and the reason for it failing, you have to go through all of this again, um, is because you haven't put plus four four, then seven nine one. So you need to remember that you've got the plus four four because if not, it will fail. So what we're going to do is I'm going to enter this information in now. So this next part is where you've got to do your proof of identity. Um, so this will be your passport or driver's license. And then what you've got is an emergency address, 
And then you've also got a individual proof of address. Again, this can be the same document. Once that is uploaded, um, what it's going to do is when we click submit, um, it will show very much like where it's got here. It will show the in, in next line of that. Instead of saying validated, it will say in review. And when it's in review, uh, what that will do is it will take... Um, five probably five working days it might be a bit quicker and it might get quicker in future um but it'll take five days to to validate so i'm not going to submit that now because obviously this is just a test account here uh, but again what it'll do is it'll just say uh bundle there and you can see that it's in draft what that'll do is that will change to um in review which takes five days once you've just keep checking that daily, unfortunately, you don't get a notification. Uh, but once you've done that, and again, I know I've done an individual there, but for a business, what you would do is you would need to enter in um, a, again, which we'll, we'll, we'll actually show if we do a regulatory uh, bundle and then we change it to UK again uh, and we do business this time mobile, it's going to um, it's going to be slightly different. So you'll see here uh, the business name. Obviously, that's what's on company's house. UK, the business registered name, website, authorised person's first name, last name, telephone number, remember the plus, 44 for the area, uh, email and comment. Again, very, very similar. Um, and for this one, the address ID that I would upload is actually um, a screenshot of company's house, which has the address it also has the company number on that you'd put in here. Um, so it's actually really, really straightforward as well. So that's a, the other way that you would do it for a business rather than a sole trader individual. Um, so what we'd actually do is we'd come to manage numbers. Once this was validated, obviously we have that the address is validated, which is, which is immediately because you're just typing that in. And then this is in review for five days. And then what we do is we come to manage numbers. Now at this point, what you would then do is you would come in and add a number and you would add a phone number um, now what we do is we change uh, the country here I might have done that a little bit too quick just get rid of that and wait for this to come up we would choose the country as the UK and then what it's going to do is it's going to give us a list of local numbers and mobile numbers and then once you select um, the correct mobile number that you want it'll then take your next screen to, to buy it but what you have to do I'll just show you here click here to UK and we want uh, the capabilities you can see these are numbers they are quite limited uh, but it's just telephone numbers and what we're looking for is we are looking for uh, mobile numbers that has got the text capability so if we select this one and the monthly price is $1.15 we proceed now what it's going to ask for in the next screen is your re regulatory bundle to match. So if we go to add a bundle, what you'll probably see is that we haven't got a bundle that is there because we haven't had it validated and that's why you need to wait for the for the validation. So my advice when you are setting up a sub account for a client, uh, again it's coming back just to say like there isn't any 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 um Thing you need um, regulatory bundle, so we're going to have to come back to that again. So my my advice to you or your uh, clients with a sub account is that you do your validation, the pretty much one of the first things that you do because you know it's going to take five days, and you kind of want to get your clients that quick win. So just make sure that that's on there. So I hope that explains it. Remember to do when you click create, do your address first, then do your bundle. Um, wait, wait your five days but you could check it it might come through quicker and then that's when you would add your telephone number and you would attach the regulatory bundle to that telephone number which will allow you to buy it okay so if anybody needs any help uh, feel free to, to reach out and obviously if you could uh, like and subscribe that would be great and uh, thanks very much